their master plan to make sure that all of us are 100% broke and can afford absolutely nothing. I have some shocking statistics and information that I want to share with you here in this video, and to me, it seems a little bit suspicious with this information, but that's exactly why I want to share it with you so that you can also see what's going on. And again, no wonder why everyone out there is absolutely broke right now and can afford literally nothing, right? It's a bad situation. Let's talk through the details about this. Now, to give this perspective, I am filming this video in the very end of 2024, okay? So if you're watching this video sometime in 2025, some of the numbers I'm going to uh, reference here in this video are actually statistically from 2023. Reason being is, for the year 2024, we don't have all this information yet, but as of early 2025, which it's not as I film this video yet, uh, but when we roll over to the new year here, we will get the new updated information for 2024. But either way, it'll give us a very clear picture even with the numbers that i'm gonna share with you it is nuts to see this and it'll paint a very 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 clear picture of what's going on and again i think most of people here in this community or that watch this video will probably agree with this as far as what's going on but again i have the actual data as i've done the research on this and um let's get into it guys get a huge favor of you please make sure to like the video thumbs up button down below subscribe down below as well if you haven't done so yet or if you're new here again thank you so much also Feel free to share this video with the share button down below with your friends on your social media. Thanks again. Really appreciate you. I want to do whatever I can for you right now and have been for the last several years. It's a nuts time that we're living through. Anyway, all right, so let's talk through these numbers. Now, let me ask you really quickly. Let's go back to year 2010. So what is that? 15 years ago now? Let's just call it 15 years ago. The year of 2010. What do you think the median household price was across the entire uh, country, right? So the median price of a home in 2010, 15 years ago, it's not that long ago. I mean, seriously, it's really not that long ago. The median household price, or sorry, medium house home price uh, 15 years ago in 2010 was $174,600. That's what it was in 2010, which you'd think, wow, not bad, right? That's like, that's a really good deal. <laughs> if I can find a house for that price, not bad, right? Feeling pretty good. That's what we think today at the very end of 2024, we would be thinking that, right? But that was back then. Guess what it is right now? The very end here of 2024, the median home price, the median home price across the entire country right now, 2024, is $412,300. That's an increase of $237,700 in value or appreciation that the average home has gone up just in the last 15 years. That's nuts, right? That's a 136% increase in just that price in a 15 year period of time. That's nuts, that's craziness, right? Now get this, okay, so keep those numbers in mind, right? Just remember this, 2010, $174,600 median home price, and right now, in the, at the very end of 2024, $412,300, a difference of two uh, $237,700, okay? Just keep those numbers in mind here. Now, let's go back to the year of 2010 again. What was the median household income in 2010? Take a quick guess, okay? I'll tell you, $64,400. Again, $64,400 was the median household income in 2010, okay? Now here, the very end of 2024, which again, I wanna be fair with you, uh, these numbers are not updated as of right now, the end of 2024, but when we roll over to 2025, we will have all the data for 2024. But I'll just cite a 2023 number, okay? So it's just a year ago, that's okay. But for all practical purposes, it'll give you a pretty clear picture where we're still at. So the end of 2023, the median household income in this country, United States, was $80,610. Again, $80,610. So in 15 years time, we saw an increase of home prices at a pace of 136% or $237,700. That's how much real estate home prices went up, the average median home price. But during that same period of time, we saw an increase of incomes by $16,000. That's it, okay? <laughs> and no wonder why no one can afford a house anymore. And unfortunately, here's the situation. Unless we see a massive, massive, massive drop in real estate prices, which in my honest opinion, I don't think that's happening anytime soon. We would need to see some major changes in the real estate market in order for something like this to happen. And again, we'd have to see massive supply come onto the market to drive prices lower. We're not gonna see that. We are short millions and millions of homes right now in this country until we fulfill the gap between homes that are needed and 
homes that are available, we will not see a supply issue, right? It's simple supply and demand, simple economics. Until we see supply outstrip uh, demand, that is when we could potentially see a massive downswing in prices on real estate, okay? We might see some little pullbacks here and there, a couple percent, three, four, five, ten percent, maybe in some selective markets, but we're not going to see huge price reductions in home prices. We're just not because we have way too much demand out there for the limited supply that we have, right? So the situation being is that this is where we're at right now. So I don't foresee this real estate market coming down, you know, to some huge degree anytime soon. I mean, maybe in 10, 15 years we could, yeah, easily. We could, you know, we could fill the gap of supply and demand at that point, but it's gonna take a long time. I mean, you can't just like snap your fingers and have a house built, right? It takes a long time to build a bunch of houses. I mean, that's the situation. It's not one of these things where you can just like flip a switch and be like, oh yeah, we just, you know, did this one thing and produced all this more um, output and production and whatever else. No, it doesn't work that way. Houses takes like a long time to build a house. Even an apartment it takes a long time to build an apartment building, right? Whatever it is, it takes time. Humans have to build this stuff. Um, but anyway, that's kind of the situation that we're dealing with right now. So in that same amount of time, we saw real estate prices or the median household uh, income go up by 16,000 whopping dollars in the last 15 years. That's nuts. So according to what, what I'm saying here, according to these statistics, the average median household income, sorry, that, that actually doesn't make sense. Sorry, let me say that again. The, the median household income in the United States over the last 15 years has gone up $16,000. So basically $1,000 a year on average, well, it's, Okay, to be fair, it's a little bit more than $1,000, but just for easy rounding purposes, let's just say it's gone up $1,000 a year in the last 15 years. Meanwhile, the median home prices have gone up $237,000 in that same amount of time. <laughs> that's craziness, right? <laughs> I don't know. Is it just me or do you think that's a little bit crazy? So home affordability in this country is unfortunately out the window, right? It's just, it's not a thing anymore. Here's the thing, with interest rates as high as they are, even if these do come down at some point, which interest rates will come back down, uh, where are they gonna bottom out? I don't know, I have no clue where they're gonna bottom out. But my point is they will come down from the rates that they're at now, right around 7%, actually a little bit lower than that, but you know, high 6%, kind of right around that 7% range. Um, they will come down quite a bit, but even at that time, let's just say that they go down, back down to, I don't know, 4%. Ah, not bad. Everybody's going to, you know, refinance and all these new buyers are going to step into the market. The only thing then is it's going to drive up prices even more. So it's not really going to make much of a difference. You're going to have lower interest rates. Yes, we're going to have higher prices. Appreciation will come in because that demand will push those prices higher. So it's really not going to solve the issue. Do you see the situation here? So again, when you continue to see all these people out there that are basically saying like, hey, we're a renter nation and, you know, home affordability is out the window, 100%. That is literally the case that we are dealing with right now. And we have all these people out there that keep coming forward saying, oh yeah, we're gonna fix this. We're gonna do all these things. We're gonna build all these millions of houses. We're gonna build all these housing units. We're gonna do this or that to the market. It's not gonna fix the issue. It's gonna take years. If they do come in and do something like this, it's gonna take years and years. This is not something that's gonna fix overnight. Even in a year's time, two years time, no, not a chance. It's gonna take multiple years to get this thing turned around or stabilized anyway, to actually fulfill the, the housing units that we actually need in this country. And remember, as the population continues to expand, what does that mean? More housing units are needed. <laughs> so it's it's one of these things, it's like a runaway train. Good luck, you gotta catch up to the runaway train, but then you also have to pace the thing going forward, otherwise it's gonna get away from you again. You can't just like catch up and then be like, well, I caught up and that's it, and then just stand there. Nope, sorry, there goes the train again, right down the tracks and as a runaway train again. See what I'm saying here? So anyway, I like to look at this stuff. I like to look at all these statistics and just see where are we right now? And again, when I ran these numbers and I looked all this up, honestly, I did not realize the difference was this great. I was surprised by all these numbers here. I didn't like look at this and be like, oh yeah, this all makes perfect sense. I was like, you've gotta be kidding me right now. Those are huge numbers. These are huge discrepancies. And again, like I said earlier, no wonder why no one has any money right now for anything. It, it, the incomes are pathetic. I'm just gonna say that, okay? I, I don't mean that to be insulting, but when we see prices going up on everything, just in the last few years here, we've seen prices on uh, healthcare, uh, housing, rents, um, utilities, gas, food, literally fill in the blank with anything. We've seen all these prices go up anywhere between 25 and about 40% just in the last three years, okay? On everything across the board. But yet how much of income's gone up? 
<laughs> not much, not much at all, just in the last handful of years, right? So again, it's like the master plan to make sure that we're always falling behind a little bit because guess what? When we're behind, when we're struggling financially, who has the power? Not us, just telling you that much right now, right? Think of like a card game. If you're short stacked in a card game, can is it hard to come back from that? Oh yeah, it's really hard to come back from that, right? You almost have like a, it, you have like this, you know, you have like this, the stacks get, uh, um, sorry, the, the deck is stacked against you. And this is literally how it goes, right? We all know how this is. We've been in this position before. So is it a power grab? I don't know. I don't want to sit here and be some conspiracy theorist, but it kind of feels like it a little bit, kind of like making all of us absolutely broke so that maybe some other people can come in and um, take all the power away. I don't know. I don't know. It, again, I am not some conspiracy theorist at all, but it seems a little bit odd. It seems a little bit suspicious, maybe, in my opinion, just a little weird how all this has gone up so much, but yet incomes are just sitting there, just like a, just a duck, just sitting there on the water, just floating around. Oh, hello, duck, but um, <laughs> it's not, not going to work for us much longer. Make sense? Anyway, I found this to be fascinating. I hope this helps you out a little bit to understand the situation that's going on. And again, if you're out there struggling right now, you are absolutely 100% not alone. I promise you, you are not alone. This is the vast majority of the population right now. In fact, the majority of people are in the same position. So if that is you, please, you are not alone. Got to stick together right now. So again, I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be. Again, please subscribe down below, like the video, thumbs up button, uh, share the video with your friends on my social media, share button down below. Check out the other well over 5,000 videos in the video library. Uh, check out the ones that I've hand selected for you. Popular videos down below in the description or at the top of the comment section if you'd like to. Or otherwise, right now showing up on your screen as well, you'll see some videos there. Thanks again. Really appreciate you. Have a nice day and I'll catch you again later in the next